Hello and welcome to Good Food Matters. This is the Cook and Cousins oh, I'm edition. Hi, and this yes. is Jana, and we're the Cook and Cousins. <laughs> we certainly are, and we say that not lightly, because we've no. been cooking since we've been way high to a basil plant. Right? <laughs> you stunned me there. Yes. <laughs> you speechless? I know. It's a weird thing. happens. <laughs> and it's, it's all about we, we have our traditions and our, yes. and Janet's the healthy one. I'm about you uh, eat what you eat want. What you want. I'm about watch what you eat. Know what you eat. Know that what you're putting in your body makes a huge difference. In fact, most of the illnesses and diseases that a lot of people in this country, all of us, uh, are susceptible to, that's right, come from what we eat. If it's a poor diet, change Chances are you're not going to be healthy, but if you really pay attention, and then it becomes like well, second nature. You don't have to really make a big effort to think about what you're doing. No, no. We use. Food. I mean, we've been cooking forever in our family yes. and generations, and just a little adjustments to these traditional recipes. That's and, right. And they're perfect. And they're perfect. You just make them a little bit healthier. We tweak them a little bit, but in addition to that, you really have to know what you're eating, and it's a lot of leafy greens, vegetables, whole grains, things like that. Now, I'm going to be making my orzo rainbow pot. Pasta, right? And I mentioned grains. Some people can't tolerate grains. Right. You're so I'm using that's something. right, gluten free. So I'm making a grain free orzo this time. Now it's obviously and what, lots how of times. Exactly, what ex, what well, is it's that a exactly? root vegetable okay. like a sweet potato or a potato oh, or a cassava, okay. right. right? It grows in the ground. Okay. A grain free kind of uh, well treat. It's I call still it a treat. filling, right? Like it's pasta. Filling. I mean, you gotta yes, oh definitely. But I call it a treat because it really does taste good. Okay. I love cassava. You can make cassava chips. I'll cassava. make that decision. Oh, okay. you know. you'll be the ultimate <laughs> barbecue. Okay, all right. Taste. Well I heard that you couldn't even boil water. But I can boil until also. until you got the recipe, is that All true? Right. And look at that. Kidding, kidding. Not too bad. There you this go. This is a, do you got a little spatula okay. to get all that in there? Nice, yes. Okay. Let's get it in. And you know what we're going to need, Anthony, if you could help me out? What's that? A little bit of water from the pasta, a little oh, pasta okay. water. Always save a little bit yes. of pasta we water. we need that because you need a little more moisture in your pasta normally. So you want to save some pasta water that has the starch from the pasta That's in it. That's right. And it really works beautifully. Um, so yeah. just maybe a little cup full or so. Okay. There you go. Nicely done. All and right. this is such an easy recipe. Oh, easy peasy. There you go. And if we need more, we'll add more. You kind of start with a little and then add if you need it as you go. So again, this dish, which is mostly in my book, they're all the same because this comes from Italian, my Italian kitchen. That's that my is. cousin. Right. <laughs> Does she look? <laughs> she looks that's familiar. My, that's my twin sister. That's her twin brunette. sister, the brunette. brunette. <laughs> <laughs> okay, at any rate. And that's um, when I used to have long hair, too. <laughs> back in the day. Hey, you look good. Don't Thanks. worry about Thanks, it. Uh, bottom line is, this is an easy recipe. Most of it entails prep work. Once you do that, you can just put it together All in a right. snap. And everything's almost like a half a cup of everything. That's what do right. we got? So we've got so what a do half a cup with? of olive oil. Well, let's put in our half a cup of, ooh, I love this, red onions. Onion, red right? onions. Half a cup of our garbanzo beans. Oh, also called gigiti. Gigiti in gigiti, Italian, right? yes. Pasta. We can, like pasta. Kitchen. Pasta cuchicidi like mom used to make or grandma used to make. pasta and with gigiti. Garbanzo beans. Chickpeas. And now we're making it with non-pasta cassava orzo. That's right. <laughs> but I'm telling you, you're not going to know the difference. And if you do have a problem with grain, this is the way to go. All right. Now, what else garlic. You know I love garlic, right? You can never have too much garlic, right? So true. You've quoted me. You've just quoted me. Is that your quote? Yes. Oh, okay. I just I hope that I haven't eaten me. too much because it can become a really effective people repellent. So far? It's not like, in the no, no, I can't smell it. It's in our veins. So. <laughs> I know. It's like second nature. <laughs> I use about three cloves. You want it really minced because it's going to be pretty much raw in your salad, mm -hmm. but it's also going to cook a little bit from the hot pasta. Okay. So we're going to so put that, that in. in there, right? While it's hot. Just like that. Okay. Okay. And can you help me, Anthony? We're yes, going to throw yeah. in some pine nuts. Some pine nuts. I toasted half those up. up, and you know it always These are brings toasted. Out they give a nice flavor, flavor. when yes, they're toasted. Exactly. You just throw them in the oven, roast a little bit. Yes, and it brings out the essential oils. Really good for it's us. It's all about the essential oils. Di they're essential and dietary fiber. We've also got. I mentioned the uh, the garlic. You want to really finely mince. So once you peel it, which pretty She's much is pro. easy, her just go like this. Okay, and you just pretty Took much smash. The garlic around. <laughs> hey, I want to spread the wealth. <laughs> That's as easy as it gets, right? Good, because you're pretty good at that. Well, if you smash a, it, you don't have to do a whole lot of work. That's true. And then you've got your basil, your fresh, fresh basil, basil, and you kind of roll it up. Fresh basil. Bachelor Gott. We'll get an Italian lesson. Here. Nicely, I like it. Will you speak? 
pretty yeah, much fluent Italian. Italian. Yeah, yes. I mean, Io capisco un po' Italian. See, that means she understands a little bit. A little bit. And then we're going to do it like this, like a chauffeur, right? Ah. Just like that. Super so easy. Freud. No, that's something else. Oh, what was that? <laughs> Hello. Chauffeur. That didn't sound clean to me. I don't know. <laughs> There you go. That's we'll another language. <laughs> One that oh, we can repeat here. Okay. We've got about 12 cherry tomatoes. I got the heirloom ones. Oh. So they're all different colors and shapes and delicious. Beautiful. This is why, can rainbow. you see? Yes. Why I call it a rainbow salad. Look at the colors yeah. and you know there are a ton of nutrients in there. Antioxidants. This is my favorite part. Yes. Some Parmesan cheese. cheese Absolutely oh. freshly grated. The thing I love about the salad is you can just eat this and you know that you're getting a lot of nutrients that you really need for the day, right? Because you've got your greens, you've got your uh, your dietary fiber with the cassava, with the tomatoes. You've got your lycopene and the red tomatoes, which is all really healthy. Vitamin C, stuff. great oh for the immune gosh. system, prostate. Yeah, lycopene, That's important. lycopene, lycopene, very, important. very important. Especially gentlemen, really important <laughs> for the prostate. And then we're gonna put in what, about, I put what, six to eight ounces of crumpled goat cheese. So have at That's it, so Anthony, important. there yeah. you go. This is my Beautiful. favorite part of cheese, as long as it tastes good. That's and fine. let's see, how much on the And then video? olive oil, half a cup. Half a cup of okay. olive oil, there you and go. A little, uh, let's see. And then we're gonna need a little bit of salt and is pepper. Is that our half a cup? There we go. Oh, I thought you eyeballed it. Oh, okay, I, well, go I'm ahead. trying to be you're very, very specific. Well behaved. This is, this is an art. <laughs> so, okay. fresh, freshly ground black pepper. Look at that. I mean, like we said, it's not an exact science, no. and you, but now you know, generally, is, these are the Yes, generally, amounts. and it is to taste. So I've got salt and pepper to taste. I'm using a little kosher salt, which oh, okay. is nice too. But you can not use sea salt. Thing. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you that's know Americans are using way too much salt. That's so right. we got to watch our watch it. I always say shake the salt habit. It's a good idea. All right. And then, do you want to do the honors? Just mix her up. Mm. Oh, can you smell it, Anthony? Oh, my gosh. This is so that. good for us. I think the, more, the most ready? important... Where are the plates? The most important part is tasting. Yes. Here, so we put it Oh, in we're there. ready with the forks and the and plates. We we're so good. So we However, wait a plate, second. Huh? Let me use my fork. For oh, okay. That's your fork. The cook's prerogative to try. Do you to want to put it in here or we'll do we'll it straight it, out of the well, bowl? Well, no. Okay. All right. I have to make sure that we have seasoned it correctly. Mmm. Mm. It tastes like pasta. Mm. Right? Just you wouldn't even know oh it's cassava. Gosh. So again, if you can't tolerate grains, already. <laughs> it's low in carbs <laughs> and it's really, really tasty and good Delicious. for you. Delicious. So wow, and go. so colorful. Rainbow mm -hmm. for Pride Month. There you go. Rainbow <laughs> for Pride Month. I love it. There you go. As colorful as you can get. Get there all those go. nutrients and show the folks how good that looks. Look at that. How about that? Again, that is your Orzo Rainbow Pasta in My Italian Kitchen. And I will have the recipe on my website, JanetZapala.com. Of course, you can always get the book at where? Amazon.com. Amazon.com. You bet. But JanetZapala.com will give you everything. And, uh, That's right. And this is my special portion, Anthony's <laughs> taste Italian <test>? taste kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> He's got... Hmm. You're very, very particular. I know that. I am. You're an Epicurean, so if you like it, I feel good. What did you call me? <laughs> <laughs> I promise it was clean and no. it, was, it was a nice thing. It was a compliment. It was doesn't cuisine. happen too often, so he always has to ask me. I love you. Right, what are we making next? Yes, and what are we making next? Uh, next, we're going to try our hand at stuffed artichokes. Stuffed artichokes. In any old tradition. Oh, I'm telling you, you're going to love those as well. Mm. Let me get them now. I like that idea. In the meantime, uh, we're we going to eat. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Delicious. Italian style stuffed artichokes. Or cochoffi, which is cochoffi, an that's an artichoke. In Italian, I love it. You've got such a way with words. Why, thank grazie mille. Now, <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Uh, uh, prego. Prego, right? You're prego, welcome. you're welcome. Yes, that's Because right. you say grazie. That's right, okay. grazie prego. Well, I Should try to, I try to be, uh, you know, have a little class here. <laughs> um, <laughs> Mama taught me well. And speaking of mama teaching as well. Our right? mamas taught us how to stuff Stuffed these. Now, artichokes, even yeah. though we're the same family, we, had, we were raised in two different households. That's right, and, two different mamas. And two different mamas. <laughs> so we have, there were two schools of thought in the actual yes. stuffing. All right, so you're going to start. Okay, so what? You start with the artichoke, and you know, the bigger the better, we've always learned. Well, the globe ones, yeah, if you can get these those when they're in season, because the bigger the choke, <laughs> the bigger the heart. And that's the best part, I think. That's, I've always said that, the bigger the choke, the bigger the heart. <laughs> <laughs> I'm choking, but my heart is kind of right. So now it's all about, they have these little spina 
on the end, so be very careful. Also known as little little thorn thorns type. So thing. yeah, what I learned is to cut the top part because you don't really eat the top part of the leaf anyway. That's right. That's right. And you cut that off so you can get most of them. And then also on the lower leaves, we kind of pull off the lower ones because they're very bitter. Yeah. The ones that stick on the stem, and then. At the few, I started this a little bit, but there's also the spina or the points. Yes. And we the cut, little thorny things that can right. hurt. <laughs> we cut them off on the lower leaves because the lower leaves are also edible. Oh, and they're so good. And you mentioned the stem. We also cook the stem. That's so right. So you just want to cut just the part off here that's kind of hard. That's right. So kind of woodsy. I you want to cut that off. Yeah, I cut it And then cut it, just cut it all off. Cut it all off. Right, yeah. so this way it'll it sit in the pot. Exactly. See how? Yes, can I borrow so, it? Yeah. I got your point. Thank you. And then like, like the sparkles, this is about my turn. There you go, just like that. Yep. And we also, sometimes there's little, I call everything spina. They're the yes. little strings. Yes. And if you can see them, you want to pull them off. You can they pull just them get, off with your fingers. They are fiber though, so I'm sure Janet would want you to eat those. Well, no, not necessarily. This is very woodsy-like. So you don't want to eat these. And then where the artichoke is cut, it's usually a little old, and so you just want to cut a little bit of that end off. That's you don't right. want to eat that. That's right. Right. But these things, when they're cooked, are so they're good. They're so good. They taste like the heart yes. of the artichoke. Now, one thing that I wanted to mention, too, after I cut off the top, because mm -hmm. mom used to do this. I don't know if your mom did. Oh, okay. But sometimes you get really tight artichokes that are really hard to manipulate. You can't really... Get deal with the leaves they're kind of hard yeah you've got to get that stuff so what did in. she do so she used to she used to take it like this and hit it up against the corner oh, of the counter that. and it kind of loosens them up a little bit oh. so, so that you can more my easily mother did something like that she used to go joey my dad and he'd come in and oh, do this oh, he did this <laughs> like that oh so that, really that was okay. a similar technique but, i like that and you then you kind of spread the well, it works <laughs> Now the stuffing, it's all about the stuffing. You want right. Italian style breadcrumbs and then you can season them up, which I always try to do with a little bit more salt, not much, some finely ground black pepper and some diced. Ooh, oh, you fresh. put the garlic. Right, the garlic goes right oh, okay. in, the, in the stuffing here. And then we did a little dressing, little different then... technique with the garlic. What okay. we would do is take the scissor, oh. do a little spin in there. Ah, look at like you. Like that. Wait, no, there's... And then you take a whole garlic clove and shove it right in. And if you like garlic, I like to put two or three. And who doesn't? And good who for your heart, like good for your cholesterol, right. good for, it's an antibacterial. It's All great. those things. Yeah. And then when it steams, that garlic is soft like oh. butter. And also it kind of permeates. It does. Right? So it kind of gets into the leaves yes. a little bit. And nothing better than permeated garlic. Uh, your that's what I've always said. And you can quote me on that. <laughs> I will quote you on that. You got the choking. The <laughs> <laughs> well, I like to edit my words, you know. Uh, so we're talking, this is stuffing, but obviously it starts as the breading. Put a little more freshly grated Parmesan cheese in here. Again, you want to doctor it up, make it yours. Right, right. Okay, and then it's almost And then did you ready. put a little pepper in too? Little, well, I did put a little oh, pepper. Right, right, and the and fresh some, parsley. Yes, Italian flat leaf parsley is my favorite for this, but you can also use regular curly parsley, right. which is great. And, you know, parsley has vitamin K in it, which is good for the bones. Oh, isn't Not it a blood cleanser for, too? That too right? And good for your breath and as well. And good for your breath. Yeah. Yes. After you have all that garlic, the parsley can kind of Comes in handy, that's right. <laughs> And you know, I put a little more cheese, why not? About a half a Send cup. Send me a little bit. Oh, okay. sorry. All right. You didn't speak up. <laughs> so I've already pre-mixed this. Oh, have you? I Look have. At you. <laughs> Look at the ingredients. You. <laughs> but same ingredients, basically. And okay. so the, the, the stuffing techniques, I don't know if this differs, but... Oh, you just pour it right I in. I pour it right too. in, but as it starts to fill, you kind of hit yes. it down yes. and, and pull the leaves apart, and you'll notice... Let's see. Due to physics, <laughs> the breadcrumbs will sink to the bottom. They go where they're supposed to right? go, right? And so I like to fill them way up to the top. And then what I do is that with the parsley, 
I put the parsley on top just because okay. it looks pretty. It sure does. But I'll press it down so it doesn't steam off. All right. And then what I'm going to do, Mom used to hold it in her hand like this. Uh-huh. And then just kind of open up the leaves right. and drop in the stuffing. Now, she was really oh, adept at this. Wow. And just kind of drop it in like this. Okay. Get those leaves open. And as you say, she always used to go like this. Right. So you <laughs> notice the difference, the East Coast, West Coast That's stuffing. right. Born and raised in New York City, born and raised in Los Angeles, California. So opposite ends of the country, which is why he's all about, eh, eat what, eat you, what want. you want. I'm all about, hey, watch what you eat. California. <laughs> there you go. And still enjoy what you're eating. Because I'm a foodie. I love to That's eat. Right. But I want to know what's going in my body. It's the only place you have to live. So and now you want to know what's going in that artichoke. Yes. So mine, I like to well, also sprinkle the little extra Parmesan on top okay. so you can see. And some people, you know, this is Italian style. Some people just like it alone. Some people dip in a little mayo or maybe some melted butter. But we like it with Those our Those are the Americani. With yes, the mayo. which are great. Yeah. And I also love to just have a plain with nothing because I happen to love the taste of artichokes. They're also great steam without, but there's so much better stuff. Like this, yeah. yeah. How are you doing there? Well, I think we're just about done. Okay. But the last thing that I do, there's one last thing I oh, want to see if you do it okay. too. Again, East Coast versus West Coast. What? While you're getting your oh, the olive oil. Yes, of course. Yes, a little drizzle of the extra virgin olive oil. Forgot about that. On top, you know, just like this. Not much. Okay. Kind of like that. All mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. And she calls it a drizzle. I, I do more of a pour. A rainstorm. Because <laughs> slowly it's going to sit down My goodness. There. I like it to be choke with that oil. <laughs> Again, the olive oil is good for your heart, right? That's very true. That's, okay. It's good for a lot of things. So now what you do is you steam these. Yes. We have, we have a pot there. Is it, it's a is little it hot steaming? and okay. it's steaming. In All fact, right. we can put it, it's got to be more on low okay. to medium, not high. Do you want me to I'll I'll just cut it together? Sure. One, two, two three. three. Woo! And you put just them like in that. And, and you have them stand up and then you let it steam for about a week. <laughs> no, it steams forever. It does take a while. <laughs> so One, there's two time for uh, a little salsa. I think so. Okay, here we go. Five, six, seven, seven and a bum, 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 and to the side, da, 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 side, and, and you turn, turn, and turn, and da, 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 da. Are they ready yet? No, they're not ready yet. <laughs> We've we got time for another for dance. <laughs> oh, we forgot to put, and don't forget to oh, put the stalks in there. That's true. Those take about as long. Now we're going to take a shot of this. I'd love for the folks to see what it looks like inside. You really, this is super important. I know you know this. Yes. You have to make sure you keep an eye on it because the water obviously evaporates over right. time. And if you forget about it and the water's gone, they burn. They and then burn it and they changes dry the out. entire taste. Right. It's awful. And so what, yeah. sometimes by adding water, I'll pour a little bit on top to keep the artichoke moist. I don't do that. She doesn't do that. And I might add Listen a little to olive me. oil. Listen to more to make olive sure oil? Keep it moist. Listen to me. Listen to me. <laughs> but, fact, try it both ways and then let us know. But in a year for now, when we taste them, <laughs> that's right, when ready. <laughs> you'll get to judge for yourself. <laughs> I do want to take a look and see what they look like inside. Those are pretty. Come on. They are pretty. You know what's going to be even better? They're going to be pretty when they're ready to when eat. They're ready. Then, they're only, then they're going to be pretty delicious. Mm, mm, and they smell good, good yeah. too already. I can't wait. Mm. What are we going to do for the next week while they're Well, cooking? we can read a book. <laughs> Go on a cookbook. Or okay. take a trip. <laughs> hey, speaking of cookbook, yes. we've got another great recipe coming up. Italian style mm, of chicken course. cutlets to go with our artichokes. Mm, my mm. favorite. Did you come here hungry? I hope I did come here hungry. Right. I've been waiting for her to feed me. All right. Well, you're going to be leaving full. Okay. I, I promise. And you too. <laughs>
six, uh, Zorba the Greek with her supernority. Life is what you do when you're, you're waiting, waiting to, to die. die. Oh, yeah. This is how the time goes by. And this is how the time goes by. <laughs> you right. you'll feed, you but, feed. That the time is going by. They're going to get these things in the frying pan. We're going to use a little okay. bit of extra virgin olive oil. Shall I pour that in? To saute these up. I don't even like to say fry. To saute them up. Nothing about deep frying here or anything like that. We keep it on a medium to low heat so and the throw the oil in, oil in right. and we'll wait just a minute or two Get till it going. heats up. And you can usually tell when it's ready, it starts uh, like little, a little waves yes, in it, yeah. right? Because you never want your food to sit in oil if it's not sizzling right, and hot. Right, because then it's just absorbing it. Exactly. And, you know, yeah. Oil. Did you just mention Zorba again? Zorb absorbing <laughs> and also Zorba. <laughs> okay, so in the interim while we're waiting for that, let's show the folks how to okay, do this. Okay, so right? you first. Into the egg, right? Here we go. And then you can use your hands, yes, you which can. is the traditional Italian way. As long Italian as they're nice way. and clean, yeah. We're not here barbarians we here. <laughs> <laughs> I hope we made that perfectly clear. There we and go. Then and then the breadcrumbs also have fresh parsley. Mm -hmm. Fresh garlic. Garlic. Yeah. And a little salt and pepper. Uh -huh. We don't usually put cheese in because then it no, kind of sticks. All, yeah, exactly. But you can do, after you cook, you can do all kinds of things with the cup. You, you can make Parmesan. Oh, you can do a little sauteed mushrooms. Right. And you want to make sure that you season them up real good when they're raw. And, and go high like this, otherwise it'll clump. And it right? looks better. Little trick. Up there. And it looks more fancy. <laughs> it looks That's fancy right. There. So another dip. Check my oil, would you, cousin? Oh, cousin, this, okay. is it ready to go? <laughs> I think we're ready to go. It's well, getting those little under the hood, will you? <laughs> I was checking under the hood. I'm checking the oil. <laughs> All right. It looks I ready to go. It makes everything mm. little. Ready to go? Double entendre. All okay, right. Let's we're start ready with, to go. Why don't we start with two? Okay. Okay, we'll put them right into it takes two the oil. Uh, oil is ready. Yeah, ready. Here we go. Look at Might that. Might grab one oh, with yes, the tongs. Oh, yes, I do. I'm that. Get a little more neat I'm here. Doing, this is the two methods. Can you hear the sizzle? It's ready. That's when it's ready. So you want to let it cook for two to three minutes, minutes until it's yeah, nice and golden crust on the outside. It depends how thick they are. You want to make sure that they're on the thinner side. You can always get your butcher to kind of pound them and make them a little thinner, or you can do it yourself. Or you could do it yourself. That's right. Just a little bit of uh, cling wrap on top and boom, boom, boom. With a pound. With a pound. Nice and thin. A tenderizer. Yes. You want to check doing at this point and see how they're looking? Let's see. Not quite, not almost quite. there, but okay. not quite. It's a certain, it's a very fine line between yes, the actual brown. Oh, look, and sometimes, Ooh, you got a sometimes you get a little bit. Yes. That's the piece mom would give oh, to taste yes. before the meal. Because that was sort of a teaser, right? <laughs> that you knew it was coming, and the taste buds start doing a jig. Yeah. <laughs> and you notice it's only been a couple of minutes. No, it it's only been a couple long. of minutes. Yeah. All right, I think these babies are okay. ready to turn, especially this one, it's a little smaller. Okay. We'll give that a turn if I can catch it. There you go. go. Oh, oh that, that is beautiful. Nice and brown. And how are we uh -huh. doing on this one? Do you want me to check take that? Take a out? quick peek. Let's take a little look. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, that's looking very sort nice. Sort of one sided. All but... right, let's give it a couple more minutes okay. and they'll be ready to dig in. Oh, <laughs> yay! Ready to dig in. I'm ready to dig okay. in. Now remember, we always eat with our eyes yeah. first. You can go a little higher. A little so higher. You get the height. Oh, there it looks. That? There you All go. Right. You get the plate. Awesome. Did you notice that? I, I got did. lucky. Okay. Our special treat. Let's take a little bite. Right. Chicken cutlets. Again, remember, if they're a little thicker, you cook them a little bit longer. If they're a little thinner, obviously a little less time in the frying pan. Mm. Mm -mm. Just like Mama used to mm. make. Oh my gosh. Mm. I'm ready to do another show. Who made this? <laughs> Who made this? Who made this? Oh my gosh. You can make this. Mm -hmm. So easy. Mm -hmm. Tell them where they can find the recipe. You can find the recipes at JanisApollo.com. Very good one. Right? this? This is life is what you do what while you're waiting to, to eat. Oh, okay, well, I like that better. <laughs> while waiting to eat. Thank you for joining us. In fact, thank you for putting up with us. Bon appetito. If you'd like to see more Cooking Cousins, write us, let us know, and We'll be there. We'll serve up more. That's right. Take it easy. Take it easy. Enjoy and stay healthy.